For most people, Too that's bad. good. <laughs> that's, <laughs> no, that's what they really. want. We want to hear you. <laughs> well, let's talk about the fall colors. How, how does that sound? Uh, up north, it's it's looking quite colorful. We have uh, 40 to 75 percent color. Places like Hurley, uh, Park Falls, not quite at peak yet. Give it about another week, and it'll probably be at peak that far north. Around here, of course, little color, but that will change in weeks to come. Outside right now, 61 degrees at the Weather Center. Mitchell is at 64. Racine right now, Ken down to 57. Temperatures have cooled quite a bit from those 70 degree highs we had today. Dew point 59, humidity 84%, a calm wind, pressure holding steady. And as temperatures fall tonight, can't rule out some fog later on. But high temperatures today, get low to this 75 at Mitchell. 80 in Watertown from Brent today. Cedarburg at 76. A little cooler near the lake, but not much. And around the state, we even had some upper 80s around Eau Claire today in La Crosse. Certainly a summer-like scenario, which will not give up anytime soon. It is looking quite warm around here for at least a couple more days. In the meantime, we had a lot of sun. The Sunshine State had a lot of clouds today. In fact, a lot of moisture, some flooding around Florida City today. And this is actually a tropical depression, and it's pretty disorganized. You don't really see much. Uh, tropical depression, of course, one notch below a tropical storm. Could become a tropical storm, though, sometime tomorrow. So we'll keep watching that. Meantime, as we fly into Wisconsin, clear skies tonight. That's why temperatures have cooled quite a bit. But look at these highs tomorrow. Most of the country will be in the 80s or 90s. So again, it's that summerish mode. Cool air way up north north of this jet stream, and there's really no sign of this moving down until maybe later on this weekend. It looks like by early next week, actually, this jet stream will begin to sag southward, and that'll give us a chance to get into some of this crisp autumn-like air. We may be in the 60s for highs next week, so if you like summer, better enjoy the next couple of days. Look at Friday, 70s, 80s across much of Wisconsin. Once again, a good dose of sun. Saturday, strong southwest wind would get even warmer. There's a cool front out west, though. That could spark off some thunderstorms over the northwest, which could reach us by Saturday night or Sunday morning. Outside right now, it is clear and it will stay clear tonight. Some patchy fog again possible overnight tonight, 55 to 60. Beautiful day tomorrow, mostly sunny, 74 along the shore, 82 degrees inland. Great night for baseball tomorrow night, mostly clear, 60. And then for Saturday, partly cloudy, still summer-like. Highs around 84, once again, just a little cooler along the lake shore. Here's your Wisconsin weather team's seven-day planner. Now, there is a chance for some rain Saturday night into Sunday morning. So for AIDS Walk, Wisconsin could at least start out a little wet on Sunday. 72, then middle 60s on Monday and Tuesday, up to 70 by Wednesday. When you dress the kids tomorrow, may want to start with a jacket. Take that thing off in the afternoon. <laughs> Shorts. Sunshine 80s, right. wow. very nice. It's mm -hmm. like summer all over again. <laughs> yeah, it's like summer hasn't quit yet, and it probably won't for at least a couple more days. We'll enjoy well, it. Yeah. Thanks, Paul. Stocks fell sharply on Wall Street today. For your money tonight, the Dow was down 216 points today. The That's pretty tough to do, though. That is. <laughs> yeah. Well, Janice Seuss decided this is the weekend she's going to go split wood. Split wood? Yeah, load up that fireplace. <laughs> Sue splitting wood? You know, the thought of it, you know what it makes me say? <laughs> She's afraid. Be very afraid. All right, I got good news though about the weekend weather. You don't have to be afraid of that. No screaming whatsoever. Lots of warm, sunny weather coming our way, and we're starting out with it today. Live view from Chopper 4, looking down the Hudson. Looks good out there right now. 62 degrees. Skies are mostly sunny at this hour. And as we check the other conditions for you, our winds out of the northwest at 6, dry direction, relative humidity 53%. The pressure falling just a bit, but it's rather high, 30.29, and that high pressure that's over the area. The key to a warm-up this weekend that may be record-setting around the area. Here's our weather almanac for today. High temperature this afternoon, 64. A little warmer from yesterday, closer to normal. Low this morning, 49, and no precipitation, of course. Here are the records, 87 on the state in 1897. Record low of 34 in 1876. Pretty long time ago for both of those, and 2.15 inches of rainfall on the state. Moderate mold spores, low for the weeds, and the ragweed in the grass have disappeared. So if you're allergic to those, no problems. Temperatures in the 60s right now from the coast inland. It's 64 right now in Hartford, Boston, 61. Cooler 59 in Scranton and Syracuse, 62 in Albany. And over the last 12 hours, we've seen cloudiness dissipate over the area as high pressure starting to build in. 
Finally, that area of low pressure is still spinning over parts of the Canadian Mar Maritimes, but causing us no problems, of course. We're expecting clear skies tonight with temperatures in the 40s and low 50s, maybe even the upper 30s, just north of Marstown and into the lower Hudson Valley. Tomorrow, high pressure will provide us with lots of sunshine and warm temperatures. Check it out. Upper 60s to low 70s. Newark, Marstown, 67 in White Plains. And our Yankees are in the World Series again. Mostly clear tonight for Game 1. Temperatures in the 60s. It'll be relatively mild during most of the game, but take along a light jacket as it cools off later in the evening. Here's our forecast for the tri-state area. For tonight, we're expecting uh, clear, cool conditions, patchy fog, 51 degrees overnight, very light winds. Tomorrow morning, sunshine and 57, and tomorrow afternoon's high, get a load of that. 68 degrees, mostly sunny, very pleasant, and warmer on Sunday. And I'll have those details coming up a little bit later on Live at 5. Thank you, Janice. Well, entertainment and information are on tap Sunday as the Tri-State area. Look, we had some San Diego Padres fans at the Today Show window today. Mm -hmm. I just called them losers! Oh, now you must be Ooh. nice to the wounded. Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> it's the best time to crush them like bugs. <laughs> Take a look. Let's go outside right now. Chopper 4. And the folks in San Diego were not happy with me for saying that. But they're not seeing this broadcast, so you're losers! Uh, 68 degrees and we've got mostly sunny skies right now looking pretty darn good out there as we check the rest of our statistics show you northwesterly winds they're gusting up to 17 miles per hour relative humidity 36 percent the barometer 2998 it is rising and as we flip the pages on the old weather almanac you'll see our high for the day 73 well above normal our low 62 above that normal low and just a trace of precipitation earlier today tri-state area temperature 73 Morristown and New Atlantic City, 69 in Montauk. Islip checks in with a temperature of 72 degrees. Last 12 hours, satellite next red combo. You can see some showers now skirting just to the south of southern New Jersey and out into the Atlantic. But for us, for the most part, things staying fairly clear tonight. Low pressure back to the west, causing some snow and rain back through the Great Lakes. But for us, we're going to remain clear. Nice big area of high pressure. Overnight lows will drop back into the low 40s. About 50 here in town under those clear skies. Then for tomorrow morning, we've got a northwesterly breeze. We'll continue. High pressure moves away. We've got a trough of low pressure. And the big news is this cool air coming in. This is going to be the coolest air of the season. By this time on Wednesday, temperatures about 20 degrees below what they were today. So for tomorrow, temperatures will be in the low 60s north and west, mid 60s along the coast, upper 60s here in town, and close inland sections in New Jersey. So our forecast looks like this. For tonight, expect your overnight low dropping back to about 50 under clear skies. Tomorrow morning, mostly sunny, temperatures up a little bit into the upper 50s, and then the rest of the day, mostly sunny tomorrow, breezy temperatures in the upper 60s. Time now for a baseball tidbit. Baseball's ancestors, games played with bats and balls, go back hundreds of years. They had names like Rounders, Town Ball, and the Knickerbocker game. One of the earliest bat and ball games was played in rural England in the 1300s. For the tidbit, we'd like to know, what did players use as bases on English farms in the 1300s? We'll have the answer, the five-day forecast, and your Caribbean forecast later on Live at 5. However, we will not repeat the forecast for San Diego <laughs> for losers! <laughs> you are a cold man. Yeah, yes, you are. But I've got a warm forecast. <laughs> at least Thank for today. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, so. Al. And this note, we're proud to pass along. News Channel 4 helps. Get you a move. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's the same every day. Oh, oh he'd find that something. That would me. You know <laughs> that. That's true. Thanks, Lynn. <laughs> we'll be right back. It's a house in the uh, South King County area today. He's got a little spooky weather for us. You, you can say that exactly, Connie. Uh, while Steve is at home with Lindsay and Michelle, uh, I hopped on over to the Super Mall here in Auburn, and we are at the ultimate haunted house that's brought to you by the fine folks at Star 101.5 Radio and us here at Como ABC4. Now, the nice thing is that uh, this is a pretty scary little place, but all the proceeds that are raised from this haunted house go to benefit the charities of the Tuckwilla Rotary Club, so it all goes for a good cause. I'd like you to meet Agnar. This is the little character that's right behind us here. He's kind of a creepy-looking guy, isn't he? Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. 
my god. All right. See, you know, and I just got here, so I'm like wandering around and being scared a lot. So it's uh, kind of creepy, but let's take a look at a uh, pretty nice day. I'll start with our current conditions where we have some sunshine now. And in Seattle, the temperature is 67 degrees. Now our wind is out of the southwest at 6 miles an hour. Barometric pressure is at 30.07 inches, and the humidity is 45%. The high today in Seattle was 68 degrees, and we continue to be about 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. Almost got to the record that we set back in 1965 at 70 degrees. You look at the satellite pictures then, and you can see that all the clouds continue to stay right out there in the Pacific, where they've been pretty much all week long, and that is thanks to a nice ridge of high pressure that is right on top of us. But this high is going to start to break down beginning tomorrow, and by the time we get into the first part of the weekend on Saturday, I think we're going to see a little bit of rain around western Washington. For this evening, though, we'll have mostly clear skies with just a little fog developing late. Overnight low temperatures will be anywhere from 33 in Olympia to 44 in Seattle. A little bit farther to the east, you'll have 38 degrees in Redmond and 42 in Bellevue and Renton. For tomorrow, then, we uh, start off the day much like we did today with quite a bit of fog, but you will begin to see some sunshine breaking out and just a few high clouds drifting in later in the day. High temperatures are still going to be in the mid-60s, plus well, 65 in Seattle and 66 degrees in Tacoma. If you live a little farther south or along the coast, get ready for some of that fog in the morning, but you will see some breaks of sunshine in the afternoon. 71 degrees tomorrow in Portland, 62 in Forks, and 67 in Olympia. Over parts of the North Sound then, we've got that same story with the thick morning fog, but a little afternoon sunshine, 62 for Victoria, 63 degrees tomorrow in Bellingham. If you're traveling toward eastern Washington, no problems getting over the mountains. We've got sunshine there, a little bit of fog on the eastern side of the state tomorrow, and temperatures that will be anywhere from 63 in Omak to 71 in Walla Walla. I'll give you a quick peek around the country then. If you're doing some traveling for the last day of the work week tomorrow, the western half of the U.S. looks good. We've got sunshine in L.A., temperatures in the mid-80s. The central part of the country, you'll find a few showers in Albuquerque tomorrow, but partly cloudy skies in Dallas. And if you're headed toward the east coast, boy, some beautiful weather there. Sunny skies, a high of 60 in New York and 62 in Chicago. So tonight for western Washington, mostly clear skies with, again, that fog developing late. Uh, temperatures will drop down into the 40s and 50s. When you wake up in the morning, you will find the areas of fog around. But by tomorrow afternoon, well, it won't be all that bad. Skies will be partly cloudy and high temperatures in the 60s. Here's your next six days. I'll help you plan the weekend, and it's not going to be all that bad a weekend. We're going to be looking for some showers on Saturday, but a little bit of clearing uh, by the time we get into Sunday. We are back here tonight at the Ultimate Haunted House uh, right here at the Auburn Super Mall. And <laughs> <laughs> and as you walk around in here, things just kind of jump around. This is actually a little cemetery, and uh, this is a ghost. Excuse me, sir. Can, uh, can I ask you a couple of questions? And things are, you see, ghosts get kind of quiet around here. You don't always quite know what you're going to get. You're, you're not liking this at all, are you? Okay, well, there you go. You see, you know, uh, Dan Connie, I really know how to bring out the best in people. Um, <laughs> That was the Grim Reaper. I don't think you want to bring out the best in him. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Thanks, Thanks. a lot, Todd. Local police throw their support behind a controversial project. That story is still ahead, but up next... I'm Keith Eldridge, live in Lakewood. It was supposed to have been a simple drug raid, but it turned into a fire. And now there's concern the police were partly to blame. We'll tell you about it coming up. Como's People Helper does the right thing for a Northwest man who beat the odds. I'm Chris Heinbach. The doctors told me that I'd be paralyzed within two months and possibly dead within a year. I'm Chris Heinbach. Ten million toys are being recalled. Some have caught fire with kids in them. The details coming up on Como's Buyer Beware. Washington's home decorating... After we had to deal with frost this morning and we're all bundled up and everything, now this weekend it looks like we'll uh, have to maybe bring out some short sleeves because the temperatures are going to warm to near 70 over the weekend. The weekend when we fall back with the clocks. Don't forget that. We'll be reminding you constantly of that one. Check it out. Live view of uh, Chopper 4 and look at the fall foliage there. It's starting to turn in many areas. Some locations are already past peak north and west of the city. We'll give you a, show you a map of that a little bit later in the newscast in case you're planning to go look at some fall color. 61 degrees currently. Absolutely beautiful. It is sunny outside. 
skies are perfectly clear. Winds are out of the northwest at 12, gusting, though, to 16 miles per hour. Relative humidity, it's 33 percent. It's very comfortable, and the pressure is above 30 inches, which is great, but it's falling just a bit right now at 30.18. Here's our weather almanac from today. The high didn't make it to 60, actually made it above that, 61 at Central Park. Low this morning, 43. A lot of the areas north and west, though, outside the city were definitely colder with frost around. Record high for this date, 85 in 1947, so you see how warm it can get. Record low, 32 in 1969. No wonder all the pollens are low. It's a little too cold for that to stick around, so that's the report from Jamaica Hospital. Area temperatures uh, right around 60 degrees for the most part, even up towards Hartford and Albany. Boston at 59, 61 in Dover, Washington, D.C., 64. And clear as a bell for most of the northeast until you get into northern sections of Maine. Still a little bit of cloud cover there. High pressure, cold air brought us the first major frost last night, but by tomorrow, Different story. The jet stream shifts north, and here comes a warm-up for us with temperatures above normal. So clear tonight, not as cold in the area. Low temperatures, upper 30s uh, into the upper 40s tonight, and with clear skies. And then for tomorrow morning, we're expecting lots of sunshine and a bit warmer. Nothing will change most of the day. This front will remain stationary to our north. Highs upper 60s to around 70 degrees with full sunshine. And an update on our new tropical storm, Mitch. It is located 355 miles south-southwest of Kingston, Jamaica. It's stationary, no warnings, no watches. It's just kind of sitting there, but we're watching it right now. Here's our forecast for the tri-state area. Clear, not as cold tonight. Chilly, though, 48 in the city. Tomorrow morning, we start out at 56 with sunshine. By the afternoon, we warm up to 68. Mm. It's going to be a great Saturday and uh, a nice Sunday, too. I'll tell you more in the five-day forecast coming up a little bit later on Live at Five. Mm, I think nice. I can find those shorts. Absolutely. <laughs> Take them out. You didn't put yeah. them too far down in the <laughs> chest there. Sure. Coming up next on. Yes, it has, but uh, it, and it will in some areas. We've got some showers moving through, and Doppler 4000 has got the showers on the radar. We'll show you those in a moment. It's mostly light rain that will be moving through the area a little bit later. Right now, it's just the cloudy skies. That's a lovely shot. I love that. Chopper 4 doing the job right on the job tonight, looking at lower Manhattan, the lights and the clouds. It's 61 degrees right now under partly cloudy skies. Our other readings, winds out of the southwest at 5, relative humidity 72 percent, the pressure falling at 29.77. Our neighborhood weather net station from Fishers Island School, it's cloudy there, the temperature 56, high today 62, low this morning 46, a light southwesterly breeze right now, and it hasn't rained there yet either, but you'll probably see a few showers a little bit later on this evening. Our weather almanac from today, looking at Central Park statistics, high 63, a little milder today, low of 50, no precipitation recorded at Central Park as of yet. Record high, 83 in 1919. The record low, 29 in 1976. And we've seen almost two and a half inches of rainfall in the state in 1953. Mold spores and the weed pollen low. No ragweed or grass to worry about, that courtesy of Jamaica Hospital, the pollen report. Temperatures right now, upper 50s to mid-60s throughout the tri-state area. To the north, it's still pretty mild. Boston, 60. Albany, 54. Almost 70 right now in Washington, D.C. All that mild air sliding in ahead of a cold front, which has a lot of shower activity. Dean, here it comes. Rain stretching from Maine all the way through the Hudson Valley back into northern sections of Pennsylvania. A close-up look on Doppler 4000 will show an area of showers, but it's mostly light rain. And you can see it's kind of spread out uh, up through northern New Jersey, back through the Catskills and into parts of the Hudson Valley and near Hartford, Connecticut. So that line will be moving on through tonight with the cold front. Close-up view of that, showing the front moving through tonight. A few scattered showers out ahead of that. Overnight lows tonight in the 40s. It will be partly cloudy at times. And during the day tomorrow, the front will already be past us. So we'll start to see some sunshine and cooler air moving in and temperatures in the 50s. Here's our forecast for the tri-state area for tonight. Some showers early this evening and probably after midnight or so it'll start to clear out a bit. 48 degrees, winds turning around to the northwest. Mostly sunny and breezy tomorrow morning, 53. And tomorrow afternoon, yes, it will be chilly, 58. A little breezy with mostly sunny skies. And we'll have the five-day forecast plus I'll talk about space shuttle launch coming up a little bit later.
on Live at Five. All right, Janice, thank okay. you. We'll give you the forecast for the space shuttle launch tomorrow coming up in weather. A World little World. bit cool out there at times, but it didn't keep these folks off the lake at Percy Priest today. They were fishing, even took the boat out and uh, made the best of it. Hope they did a little uh, catching as well as fishing. You can see they've got their jackets on, though. It was just a little bit cool out there today, but cold is the word for tonight. With the clear skies out there, uh, it's going to cool down quickly. 26 degrees is the expected low in Springfield. Same for Franklin. 27 in Pulaski. 29 in Winchester, 25 in Cookville. I would expect a hard freeze overnight. If you've got some plants out you want to protect, drag them back indoors. It is time to do that. Temperatures will fall steadily overnight. We should start the day at about 28, bright and early tomorrow morning with more sunshine expected. Well, now uh, recover from what Hurricane Mitch did to Central America uh, just over a week ago, and they have got probably many, many months, if not a couple of years of recovery in that part of the world. Just incredible devastation. Here, on the other hand, we have terrific weather today. It was a little uh, rocky yesterday, but things are settled now. Clear skies, 52 degrees, relative humidity at 28 percent. The air is very dry. You may have popped yourself a couple of times with some static electricity today. Winds are from the northwest at 6 and the barometer at 30.35. It's holding steady. The high today, 58 degrees, just as we expected. 42 was the morning low, and there's your sunrise and sunset times for you. It's sun going down today at 442. It's been down a while. There's a look at Storm Tracker 2000. It was a busy day on Storm Tracker yesterday, but all is quiet all around the Mid-South. Now take a look at the national satellite view, and you'll see that system that just really ripped across the country is long gone now. Canada's still feeling some of the effects. Now we turn our attention to a smaller weather maker, but one that nevertheless may bring us a little bit of wet weather over the weekend. It's back in the desert south west right now. We're going to watch it slide across the country over the next couple of days. Temperatures 34 in Minneapolis, 37 in Casper, 46 in Kansas City. This is some of the coolest air in the country. 64 in Charleston, 77 in Miami. This pocket of cool air sort of sliding to the southeast and so we think it's going to be pretty doggone cold overnight here. 48 already in Bowling Green, 54 in Knoxville, 53 in Chattanooga and Jackson already to 49 and we're looking at a hard freeze for much of Middle Tennessee tonight. 26 for Dixon and Columbia, 26 in Clarksville, 25 in Gallatin, 29 in Murfreesboro. So if you're tr still trying to save some of those plants and you took them back out for some sunshine today, go bring them back in. It's going to be really cold out there tonight. Tomorrow, we will watch temperatures begin to warm back up into the upper 50s and lower 60s. Now, there's the satellite view, and you can see that we are still under the influence of clear skies and will be tonight, and that always allows temperatures to drop with radiational cooling. Now, we are looking at the front edge of some of the clouds from that system back with the southwest, and we're going to see where that heads over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, we're still under the influence of high pressure. It will be a very cold start early tomorrow, but eventually, we will warm up pretty nicely by the afternoon with plenty of sunshine. But we watch this low pressure march across Texas tomorrow. And while the bulk of the low will stay south of us, I think on Friday, at least the southern half of Middle Tennessee will at least have a shower chance. And that probably will extend right on into Saturday. Tonight, cold, 28 degrees, the low in Nashville with a light wind. And then tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, very pleasant out there on Thursday. 63, the high in Nashville with winds from the east at 5. And then your five-day forecast shows that slight shower chance on Friday and Saturday, most of the rain staying to our south, temperatures reflecting the cloud. Last two years have proven. Meanwhile, it is unclear tonight where the children, ages 13 and 10, will live while the court battle is resolved. We'll have much more on OJ tonight at 11. A New Jersey man in search of romance has found a disappointing contractual dispute instead. Well, it all started when he signed up. Oh, what a morning with all the wind gusting near 50 miles per hour at JFK. And now things have all cleared out. It's a beautiful night and tomorrow should be a nice day. I'll have the details coming up. Let's go outside right now and enjoy the rest of the evening here. A live view of our sky cam showing all the city lights. And it's a beautiful night. 57 degrees right now and skies are mostly clear. As we check on the winds for you, they are out of the northwest, still rather gusty, but not nearly what we saw this morning. Right now, the gusts are up to 17, so things have quieted down. And the drier air has rolled in 27% relative humidity. The pressure is rising 30.03. All good weather signs for a nice night and a lovely day tomorrow. Check, checking on the high and low for today, we saw 63 early this morning. Then we started to see some cooler air roll in. Low 50 so far today and three-tenths of an inch of rainfall at Central Park. The record precipitation on the state in 1995, 1.41 inches. Record high 74 in 1949 and down to 28 degrees on this state. Right now, the temperatures are mainly in the 50s near 60. Nobody's dreadfully cold. The coldest air is still back to the west. Up to the north, Boston, 52. We find some 40s as we go back to the west in Buffalo, Syracuse.
and even a few 30s, Bradford, Pennsylvania, back in uh, Windsor, Canada, 43, Detroit right now at 45. So nothing dreadfully cold coming our way just yet. There goes the front with all the rain and the wind. Moving offshore tonight, we are expecting a cool night, uh, clear skies for the most part. There'll be some light snow mixed with rain showers across the Great Lakes. But we'll see temperatures in the 30s to around 40, so we can all handle that. Nothing too dreadfully cold. Tomorrow's going to be a nice day. We'll start out with some sunshine. Ahead of this front, we'll see some high clouds rolling in, and that front will bring some colder air by the weekend. So in the meantime, very nice tomorrow. Temperatures in the mid-50s, maybe a little breezy. As we go through time, we watch the jet stream change, and not too much for us by Saturday. We will see cooler temperatures, uh, and there will be some stormy weather over the Midwest and the Great Lakes. But for us, it should be rather quiet until Sunday. Here's our forecast for the tri-state area tonight. Clear and cool. 43 overnight in the city, 30s north and west and over the island. Tomorrow morning, 48 to start, mostly sunny, and we end up at 57. Same temperature we have right now. We'll just have some sunshine mixed with clouds. Winds from the southwest. Friday, a little cooler, 52. Cooler Saturday, 49 for a high. 48 Sunday, next chance for rain is on Sunday, but we are not looking at such a big storm this time coming up for the week. The storm battering Honduras tonight. Mitch is now blamed for at least 32 deaths. Mark Baden joins us live from the Weather Watch Weather Center.